And listen, listen, so we are gonna watch the Pink Panthers and Ice Spice collab. Hey, I've been seeing a lot of good things. I don't know, bro, like, it has potential. It has potential. But I have I've not heard this song. I've not heard this song. But I do know Ice. She's been doing her thing. Pink Panthers, I don't know her name. But yeah, she had a big 2021. She had a record with Sench. That was crazy, so. She definitely had a big last year. But um, let's see what they're, what they're saying in this one, bro. Bro, I... Bro, please don't be TOS, bro. Please do not be TOS, bro. This is simple. Oh, nice. Bro, this is uh, this, like a nice little, you know what I'm saying? Nice little bop. It's nice, 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 nice in my ears, bro. It's nice in my ears, bro. Chill, chill, chill. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I try to recreate this sort of like 3D effect from this Ice Spice video that I thought was really cool. I'm just gonna take you through my process. I did it on Blender. I'm still getting used to Blender. I might do a whole like a whole series on just me learning how to use Blender. So there's two methods. The After Effects method, if you want to see that, just click up here. Um, I already made a video on that. But for this Blender method, I'm gonna show you um, the video we had to start off with. You see, there's butterflies in here in the background and stuff. I wanted to recreate them. I didn't want to add a blur or make it too complicated just yet. You know, as, as I learn Blender, I'm gonna add stuff like blur and stuff and make it more realistic. But for now, we're just focused on adding in just the, whole, just the butterfly and just my whole process of like actually tracking, 3D tracking this, making it look realistic, um, just like this. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna do it on this scene here. I feel like this is a, it's a very easy scene to track. So you can actually download Blender for free. Blender's an online, it's an online tool. You can download it free. So I'll put a link in the description as well as the object like the 3D model of the butterfly that I actually used and a link to where you can get it as well. So when I opened up a new file, I clicked on the VFX, the VFX option, uh, open up a VFX um, project. Then once you find your clip, it can either be an um, MOV file or an MP4 file. Um, I think I chose, what did I choose in this clip? I chose to use an MOV file because I think MOV has a lot more like information, which is good for that like, tracking. First thing I did was click over here. I prefetched it, and then after prefetching it, I made sure to find where the clip starts and the clip ends. You know, just start from the beginning, um, and you just play it forward. Just play your clip through, see how it plays. Uh, I, I think I got to around 80 something seconds, so I'm gonna cut off 80 something frames. So I'm gonna cut off the clip around 80 something frames then just click detect features it automatically detects all these like little like tracking points as you can see here it detects all these little tracking points you can change like how many points it, uh, it detects how close together they are you can change you know you can open this up and like change a whole lot of things about it which is actually really cool so all this stuff that's on like the actors or like the talent or on the people you're gonna want to like remove that because obviously they're gonna be moving so it's gonna like it's not gonna end up for a good track in the end so you're gonna want to um, remove all the bits that are on like people that are moving birds on like um, cars animals just anything that's moving you're gonna want to remove it so we're gonna want to remove it on like the two um two people here but um but yeah you just track forward at the box the tracks that have kind of failed this is we've already got like a lot of like boxes here you're gonna want to like delete um the tracks that failed so just like click x you just select them um, and then you click X and like this one you can see like there's a big like red and blue line that basically means that it's moved quite a lot it's tracked quite a lot I don't know what it's tracking hey I don't know what that box is tracking but yeah we'll get rid of this box here and once we've got rid of all the boxes then basically the next thing is the next thing you want to do is set your floor so you want to like um, basically like establish out your frame and basically tell like the software like yo this is where I want my floor to be um, like in 3d space so that when you add like other objects in you can basically like put it relative to that floor that you've set so yeah i just select three different points and then you click floor you click orientation floor um, um and then it basically imports this um cube and floor setup you've got here and you basically just go to position that basically just go to position it in like relative to like your scene so I'm gonna like position it as if it was like part of like the balcony. We won't get the model in. So for the 3D model, I got um <sighs> So the 3D model I use Sketchfab, bro. It's got all these like crazy good, like crazy good designs, crazy good um 3D designs. 
available um, to use. It's got this butterfly that I use. It's a 3D looping one too. Um, so you, oh, you don't even literally have to animate it. You just literally download it. You just plug it. Um, just plug it into your already track scene, and it will literally move by itself. You might have to like it'll animate itself, but you you might have to like keyframe it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to like move it in a specific way. Um, but anyway, back to the scene. So this is what it's actually gonna look like. This is what it's gonna look like when you've um when you've tracked everything perfectly. Um, and as you can see, when I do play it through, um, when I play it through, all these black dots and all the all the tracking all the tracking squares, they're actually attached to you know what I'm saying where they should be. Um, that's how you know you've got a good track. You know, just look at the boxes. If any boxes like are moving too crazily, then it means you've got a bad track. Um, after you've solved it too, after you've pressed um, solve. Uh, look at your solve error. Mine is 1.05 pixels, which is pretty, pretty decent. Like prep, you probably want to get like below one um, for like your solve error, but mine is like 1.05, so it's not too bad. Um, if it's 1.1, then you might want to change some of your, um, some of your tracks. So you're gonna to want to import your your 3D thing, your 3D object. Mine's a butterfly. It's gonna be really small or either really big. So you're gonna to want to scale it up. So click here or click S and make sure you scale it up like proportionally. Um, because like some parts might like scale from other parts. Um, yeah, you might want to click on these three, on these three objects, these three like spheres. So they basically this basically changes um like the look it has right now. The final thing I want to say is that. Um, like here you might want to change like the animation so like you might want to have it already flying because um, it is already animated so you're gonna want to change like um, its position its animation its keyframes but yeah to change this animation you want to click on that this icon here then go to non-linear animation this icon here and then you basically just move all these little dots are the keyframes um, so yeah you're gonna want to move them left to where it's actually starting to fly like that after you've moved it and like changed um change the change how you want it to look you're gonna want to keyframe it so want to, you want it to actually move like in 3d space make it look kind of cool i just did this i just keyframed it like this and it just flying like that there we go that's i think that looks pretty cool there's one thing though there's one thing that i don't i don't know how to fix at the moment basically when i exported this my original footage that i put in it came out like quite laggy as you can see on the don't know how to change that yeah i feel like that's just that's just a simple exporting thing that i might have to change because i don't want my footage to be laggy or choppy i don't know why it's choppy or laggy i don't know why it is um but literally if you want to you can just speed it up i'll put a link um down below to someone who knows how to explain exporting on blender a lot better than i do um, I'm, I'm gonna put a link down below on that because uh, I don't want you guys to get like get like the same choppy footage that I did um, out of this um, this one that like bare flashing I messed with the, that flashing effect and also I didn't mention it before but the butterflies bro three butterflies I messed with that the colors are good the colors are good okay all right nah she cool she cool it's cool see she's i bro bro there's so much hate bro there's just so much hate on the internet bro this was not bad this was not bad but this has an instrumental too but slap i'm not gonna lie i gotta see like how popping it gets if it gets too popping i'm not gonna use it as an instrumental in like some of my videos but a chill little track the big pink um square hey, it's cool it's cool no tos so we both from the bronx there we go we're literally on 500 we're literally on 500 subs just shout out you guys for you click to comment on this video shout out to you guys for following the video I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this every time just to, you know show show everyone love who supports the videos but yeah shout out to you shout out to these guys for um for tapping in with the video